In Greek mythology, the Karkonos was a giant crab sent by the Hydra to help defeat the demigod Heracles. In Ark, the Karkonos is exactly the same thing, but it's there to savagely kill you in cold blood and shower you with shame and disappointment. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Creature Spotlight, a series where we go over the many aspects of the creature in the spotlight. Today we have the Karkonos, and boy, if this isn't one of the most useful creatures on Aberration, then honestly, I don't know what is. Make sure you stick around for the Karkonos abilities towards the end of the video so you get the most out of this creature, and also, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future content. The first thing I want to talk about is the materials and equipment you'll need to tame a Karkonos, and you actually have a few options. At the most basic level, you need a trap and a knockout method, although you can't use your standard knockout methods like trank arrows or trank darts. You can either use a cannon or a catapult turret, and I personally recommend using a catapult turret simply because the taming effectiveness remains much higher than if you were to use a cannon. We'll talk a little bit more about that shortly, but first I've come up with two trap options that are reliable and safe. Feel free to adjust and tweak them as you see fit. Firstly, we've got the pillar option. You want to make a sort of semicircle with the pillars, leaving the back end open so you have space to let the Karkonos in. At the front of the trap, you'll need a large bear trap to stop the Karkonos in its tracks for a few moments while you scurry around the back to place pillars. It works a lot like a Giga Trap, but it's significantly cheaper. This option requires 12 to 14 pillars stacked two high and one large bear trap. The next option you have is the gateway method, which is three dino gateways placed in a triangle. To start, place the first two gateways down at roughly a 90 degree angle to each other with a large bear trap at the point where they meet. Once the large bear trap is placed, lead the Karkonos in, and as soon as it's trapped, run around the back to place the last gateway right behind it. This option requires three dino gateways and a large bear trap, and while it might sound cheaper than the first option, it's actually almost twice as expensive. I prefer the pillar method personally, and the reason why is because of how the catapult turret works, so let's talk about that. I mentioned earlier that the only way to knock out a Karkonos is either via cannon or catapult turret. If you use a cannon, you'll be able to knock the Karkonos out in one shot, but you'll ruin the taming effectiveness. Taming effectiveness, 71%. That's so much better. Plus 86 levels? Okay. All right, so in the creature spotlight, you guys are going to see me say, it ruins the taming effectiveness, don't use a cannon. But the amount of time it takes to knock this out versus okay it took three cannon shots to knock this out because i suck at aiming and then additionally i mean look at this we did this for karkinos bro like that is just absurd this is absurd plus the boulders are pain in the ass it takes a billion boulders you can get really high taming effectiveness if you do do that but i'm about to gain 86 levels on this 240 it's going to be past max level instantly right when i tame it so uh definitely cannon method is super dope uh, i'll probably what what level do you unlock a cannon 30 you you unlock it at level 34 is this a joke are you joking right now arc The key to knocking out a Karkonos with either method is to hit its body, not its legs. Hitting its legs does not increase its torpidity, and you'll end up with a dead Karkonos if you're not careful. So what I've been finding a lot of success with is building a little platform for the catapult turret so that it sits above the Karkonos, allowing me to aim pretty much straight down without much risk of hitting its legs. The key to this build is keeping the platform fairly close to the trap, right around two foundation lengths away. Build walls four high and put a ceiling on the last wall, making it look like this overhang staple thing. Get yourself some ladders so you can climb to the top and place the catapult turret somewhere in the middle of the ceiling. From there, all you have to do is load the catapult with some stone and metal ingot, then craft some boulders from the turret's inventory. Once you're ready, lead the Karkonos into the trap and mount the turret. Before you start blasting the Karkonos with boulders though, make sure you've got a magnifying glass on you to keep your eye on the torpor. If you aim the magnifying glass at its claws or legs, it actually works pretty well and gives you really accurate information. Pay close attention to where you're hitting the Karkonos, as impatience and inaccuracy will kill the Karkonos. Take it nice and slow and keep using the magnifying glass to make sure you're shooting accurately. 
you'll need 16 perfect boulder shots to knock out a level 150 Karkonos. So make sure you craft several extras in case you miss a few shots, and I promise you will miss a few shots. Once the Karkonos is knocked out, you'll need some food for the taming process. The Karkonos likes exceptional kibble and spoiled meat, but you could theoretically tame it with raw meat if you don't mind waiting an extra like two hours for it to tame. Okay, so now that the Karkonos is tamed, let's talk about its abilities and some general Karkonos tips. The Karkonos has an impressive directional jump that can be charged for height, power, and speed. This makes traversing Aberration's layered terrain slightly easier since it jumps so high. The jump can also be performed on water to jump over the surface of lakes and rivers, although it's a pretty slow way to move around if you ask me. Fortunately, the Karkonos doesn't have an oxygen stat and can move pretty well underwater, so if you sink to the bottom, do not panic. Next, each of its claws can perform an individual attack, and the claw attacks can be performed simultaneously to deal twice the damage. The pound attack can actually be combined with its most useful ability too, the grab. The Karkonos can pick up creatures roughly the size of a Stegosaurus in each one of its giant claws, and from there, it can do a number of things. Feel free to ground pound them until they die, carry them to a new location, or absolutely yeet them across the map if you so desire. The throw can be charged up in order to aim and add distance to the throw, and it's a pretty impressive ability for an equally impressive creature. I found a really good tip on Dota decks that I wanted to share with all the PvP players out there. For cave raids, put C4 on a turtle, then use Mr. Krabs to yeet the turtle to destroy bases. Crabs and C4 strat turtles is the crossover you didn't know you needed. Anyway, the Karkonos grab can also be used as a taming assist. The grab immobilizes most creatures, giving you a wonderful opportunity to trank the creature and tame it. The grab is also super useful for metal farming because you can carry an Anki to all the metal nodes you find, and you can even have someone riding the Anki while you pilot the Karkonos, making metal gathering easy peasy, lemon squeezy. If you ever have to engage in combat with a wild Karkonos, be careful because if they get a chance to grab you, they've pretty much guaranteed your death. Only take them on if you've got a decently powerful dino like a Spino or another Karkonos, because they might try to grab you off your mount. It is a good idea for you to kill Karkonos though, simply because they drop a ton of organic polymer, making your need to craft polymer next to nothing. Next, the Karkonos is naturally resistant to the radiation in the red zone, meaning it's a suitable mount for the dangers you'll face there. I'll make a map guide on Aberration to explain why you need the red zone, but for now, just know that the Karkonos will serve you well in the heart of the map. Did I forget anything? Do you have any questions? Let me know in the comments! If you want early access to my content and a bunch of other cool perks, check out my Patreon. As always, thank you so much for your time today, and we'll see you in the next video.